Oh no. Trust me to get hiccups as soon as I turn the camera on. My trick for hiccups is hold your breath and try and swallow as much as you can with the breath you've already got in your mouth without taking any more breath in. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense, but that seems to always get rid of my hiccups. Hiccups are like the most annoying thing in the world to me. They're so annoying. I really hate them. Anyway. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're doing really really well. Um, this video is going up one or two days late, I'm sorry about that. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you're probably not like, come on Kaylee, it's Friday, where's your video? Um, but uh, I had a migraine for a couple of days and I took Friday off work and I was going to film on Friday um, after work. But obviously I took the day off and I was just in bed all day, so I didn't film. And now it's Saturday evening, so hi. Um, in today's video I'm going to do my like monthly roundup re review of all the things that I got in my beauty boxes for the month of January. So I get Birchbox and Look Incredible Deluxe. Birchbox is £12.95 a month and Look Incredible Deluxe is £35 a month. And yeah, I'm just going to show you what I got. Um, well, I'm assuming you already know what I got, but I'm just going to tell you whether I liked the things or not. I will leave my original unboxing videos down below. Um, and I'm, I'm going to treat this video like you already know what I got and I'm just going to tell you what I thought of them. So let's start the birch box. Okay, the thing I was most excited for, the Jade Face Roller. I've been loving this. I haven't been using it as much as I thought I would, you know. I had I had put this like on my Christmas list, one of these, and I didn't get one. And it was just fate that I ended up getting one in my birch box. And the first few days I used it like every night. And then I've been using it every couple of days rather than I thought I'd be using it every day but I haven't been um but it's really really nice people say to put them in the fridge right now I feel like it's cold enough um and I don't need to put this in the fridge to make it any more cold um and it just feels really nice I don't know if it's making a difference or not who knows but it feels nice on my skin so I'm enjoying using it which is good I'd rather have something I'm enjoying using than something I'm not enjoying using so yeah I did this in the last video, didn't I? I? Just kept rolling it all over my face. Okay, right. So yeah, I really liked that. Um, the body lotion from Green Frog by Tannic. So I know I mentioned that I really didn't like the shower gel, and I didn't have high hopes for this body lotion, but actually, I really liked it. Um, it's a nice consistency. It's not too thick. It's not really, really thin. Um, it smells so nice. It smells nice and strong as well. It's the sweet argan scent and just smells really nice. The only thing about this is that the bottle is like hard plastic and it's really hard to squish. Like I'm using like two hands there. And so I could only ever use my right hand. I couldn't squish it with my left hand. I just can't do it. Um, and so that's like a bit annoying. It would be better if it was in, I don't know, an easier to squeeze bottle or maybe just a tub. That's my only, that's my only gripe with it. But actually I was pleasantly surprised with this and it's taught me not to um, disregard a whole brand just because you don't like one thing. So yeah, I really liked that. Um, the eye masks, I haven't actually, if I'm honest, haven't used these this month yet. Um, but I already own some um, and I have used these eye masks a few times before and really, really liked them. I know that I like them. I know that they're good. They feel really nice and um, yeah, I know that I like them. So I have, didn't need to try it this month. <laughs> um, the Laura Geller Cream Eyeshadow. This is the Cream Shadow Crayon in the shade Pewter. I have tried this and I will say... It's, I think it's too dark for me. I think it's just too dark for me, if I'm honest. And so I think that's a bit of a shame really, because I tried it. I think the colour's too dark for me and my skin tone and everything. Um, so I'm not sold on it. But then it could be a really good formula, but I just didn't like the colour. I don't know, but even when I kept looking back at my eyes after I wore it, I was like, no, I just don't like the look of it. Um, if I'd had it in a different colour, maybe I would be saying something different, but 
yeah hmm hmm I don't know um, and then the uh, liquid highlighter I haven't tried out because I don't really wear liquid highlight very much um, and that's just gone straight into my giveaway box so I don't have to review that I feel like I'm being really boring today I feel like I'm being like quite informative and quite boring sorry um, <laughs> then in my look incredible deluxe box okay I don't know what to start with first um, let's start with this the um, Aurora glow kit oh my goodness oh my lordy lordy lord I've got it on today and I, it is popping um what I've been doing is mixing this shade here called Eclipse with this one here Lyra and they seem to be working quite nice as like more not necessarily subtle because this isn't a subtle highlighter but more everyday today I mixed uh, Eclipse with Luna which is a very like an icy one which is probably why I'm like popping so much today um I put the purple one on my face and it wasn't actually that bad if I'm honest but I could still tell like it was a bit purpley um some people have said to like, use them as eyeshadows which I think would be a good idea however I don't really want purple blue or green eyeshadow um but then again, then they don't come off as vibrant and pigmented as they are in the pan. So I will play around with them. Right now, actually, on my eyes, I've got um, my bronzer in my crease. And then I've got Lyra down here um, on the lid uh, with no glitter glue, though. And I was surprised it wasn't as shimmery. I, I put it on my finger. It wasn't as shimmery as I expected it to be. Um, but I had no glitter glue and I didn't use a brush. So, yeah. But... I really like this and I'm really happy I got it. Uh, Sussex Sandra also asked me to check the batch code of this to see when it was first made because she said some of them are made like a good like few years ago and I think this one, my one is like two years old um, which I'm fine with but always check your batch codes if you get like uh, beauty boxes, check your codes because you could, you could be getting stuff that's really old and that's not okay. So yeah, so there's that. I've also been using this like every single day. The Too Faced Hangover 3 in 1. Uh, why is it 3 in 1? It will prime, set, and refresh your skin. I've been using this as a primer. I only used it as a setting spray today for the first time. And I literally used it just before I filmed this video. So I don't even know if it will help set things in place or not. But I've been using it as a primer and it's really nice. It has got a coconut scent to it, but it is a subtle coconut scent. I'm not the biggest fan of coconut. On my hair, yes, but on my face and my body, not really. Um, and yeah, it's got a subtle scent to it. It sprays out nicely. Uh, sometimes I just spray it and let it air dry. Sometimes I spray and like rub it in. Um, I just feel like it's a nice mixture. Like it's not um, a mattifying primer. It doesn't feel like super matte, but it doesn't feel really dewy and glowy and either. It just feels like a nice middle ground, which I quite like. Um, and I've been really enjoying this actually. I would buy this again. I really like it and it's just so easy how it's a spray because sometimes in the mornings, I mean I take a long time to get ready I'm not even gonna lie, <laughs> um, and sometimes like I'll go make my coffee or something but it's so nice to just bring this in the kitchen and while I'm like pouring or I don't know while I'm flicking the kettle on or something I can just go spray 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 and then I can just let it sink in while I'm like making my actual coffee. Do you know what I mean? Um, and so yeah, I've been really, really enjoying using this. I really like it, which I am very happy with. <laughs> um, the next thing is the Luxie brush. So this is the large angled brush, which I have been using for bronzer. Um, I think it's okay, but I do actually prefer this other brush that I have, and I wanted to mention it. So this is by Luxie as well. And this is the 512 small contouring brush. And if I just like compare them, I just feel like this smaller one gives me more control, if I'm honest. And this angled one, yeah, it's okay, but I do actually prefer the smaller one. Um, so I don't know what to do with this one. Maybe I'll try it like, oh, maybe I'll try it as a blusher one. Hmm, I don't know, but uh, yeah, I really like the smaller one instead. But still, this is really good. If I didn't already have this one, I would have nothing to compare it to except like my other brushes. And I probably would have thought this was really, really good. But because I'm comparing it to one I've already got, 
uh, it's you know I just wanted to mention the one that I prefer um, and then the last thing from the Lucky Ripple Look Incredible Deluxe Box was the Hourglass Lipstick in the shade Vintage. This is what it looks like. Very, very pretty shade. I've got it on today and oh my gosh, I am in love with it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I just feel like it's such a nice shade. It's like if you had um, darker like skin, than me or like darker like a lip colour it would be like a really nice nude for you it's obviously like not a nude for me but it's not like super dark either it's like you know a good few shades darker than my lips you know sometimes you don't necessarily want to have a nude lip you want to have something that's a bit different and so this is like a nude lip but darker if you're pale like me and I just really like it because it's like going dark but without going too like dark purple and dark brown it, I think it's so nice and I really really like it um the formula feels really really nice it's really comfortable you know some um lipsticks say like they're a comfort matte and they're not really they're still a bit dry this is like a nice in between it's not matte but it's not like super shiny and like cream sheeny or anything like to look at my lips you'd probably say I've got a matte lipstick on but like but it feels really, really smooth. And it's almost like a um, satin, I guess, like a satin lipstick. And I really, really like that. I really like it. I'm not a fan necessarily of like proper cream sheen lipsticks unless they're nude. Um, and when you've got a bit more colour, I like it to be a bit more matte. But then again, matte lipsticks can be drying and can feel uncomfortable after a while. But I really, really like this. I like it a lot. I really 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 like it how many times can I say that I like it so if I had to pick my favorite item from the month <sighs> ever I actually think it was a really good month for beauty box products um my favorite My favourite is the lipstick. I'm going to say it's the lipstick. The amount I just spoke about it has got to be the lipstick. I nearly went for the highlight kit, but I just feel what would make it that extra better as if they were more wearable shades. So the lipstick is my win of the month. And my worst product of the month, I'm just going to say, is the Laura Geller Cream Eyeshadow Crayon. Because if I look at everything I've got in front of me, this is the only thing that I probably won't wear again. There's obviously the liquid highlight, but I've just put that in the giveaway. So out of the things that I've actually tried, I'm least likely to wear this again. So yeah, that's my least favourite. Um, but yeah, I think both boxes did really well this month, the month of January. I'm really impressed. And the thing with the Look Incredible Deluxe is you get things... But because they're like high end and you've paid £35 for it, when you don't like something or something doesn't suit you, it's so much more of like a waste because it's more money. And to actually like everything in the box should be standard really, shouldn't it? But it's not. I'm just, I'm really happy. And I feel like Birchbox did a great job. I can't believe I was like pleasantly surprised by the little body lotion. I'm just... I asked for this for Christmas, didn't get it, and then I got it in a birch box. It's as if Father Christmas knew. I'm just really happy this month. I already used these and liked them, and I just got another one. Great. Do you know what I mean? I'm just, I'm happy. If you get these boxes or you've used any of these products at all, um, please let me know your opinions because I would love to hear them. I'm sure everyone else would as well. I've obviously just like raved about loads of stuff, but there may be some people who don't really like things as much as I do and blah, 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 blah. Um, but yeah, it would be really nice to hear your thoughts down below. Um, but thank you for watching this video. I feel like I've kind of rushed through it a little bit, but I am filming at like gone nine o'clock at night, even though it is a Saturday. And I feel like I'm when it gets into the evening, I'm a bit more wary of my neighbours. And so I'm not like, ah, um, yeah. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me because I would love that so, so much. Um, and I will see you in a few days in my next video.